Hey guys, welcome to Tetris Tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about Leonardo AI prompts, Leonardo AI coloring book prompts. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. Leonardo AI is a powerful artificial intelligence tool that helps in generating various types of digital imagery, including coloring book pages. It accomplished by allowing users to input specific prompts or instructions to guide the AI in creating desired images. So by providing clear prompts, users can instruct the AI to produce coloring book style illustrations featuring specific subjects or themes. Leonardo AI simplifies the process of creating coloring book pages by automating the initial artistic rendering, making it accessible and efficient for artists and creators who want to design coloring books without the need for extensive manual drawing or illustration skills. So this tool is particularly helpful in saving time and effort while ensuring consistent and visually appealing results in coloring book creation. So as you can see in here, these are actually other things that this tool has generated. So this does not just focus on coloring books. It also provides different image that could be helpful to you. But for this video, we'll focus more onto the coloring book. So for you to be able to get started, just go to Leonardo.ai website or simply search that onto your local browser. Then right after, you should be able to get redirected onto this page where it gives you an option to create an account with no credit card needed. So just simply click on to create an account and then you will be able to see a note wherein you will need to be whitelisted to be able to sign in. So if you aren't on the early access list or you still haven't done this stuff yet, you need to register below using your first name and then your email address. So just input the details in here and then right after click on to count me in. So you should be able to see prompts right after for this, wherein you need to follow that so that you should be able to receive an email from Leonardo so that you'd be able to proceed. Then right after you receive that email, just simply click onto this yes, I'm whitelisted in here so that you could proceed. Now, right after that, you should be redirected onto this login page and here wherein it gives you the option to log in with Apple, Google, your Microsoft account, or you could just simply put in your email in here and your password. And if you have forgotten it, just simply click onto this button below to reset it. And then right after, simply click on to sign in. So you should be able to see also here below the privacy policy and terms of service. And personally, what I really like to choose in here is the Google since it saves already your username and password and you don't have to input it again and again. You'll just need to choose an account to proceed. So let's simply do that. So choose your preferred login option. Now, right after, you should be redirected onto this page in here when you'd be able to see the featured models here onto the main part. So you just need to click onto this arrow in here to see the different models that they offer. And if you scroll down a little bit in here, you should be able to see also the recent creation that is done by other designers. So simply browse onto them and you'll have a search bar in here. You could see the upskilled also. And there is a filter in. You could filter it to the trending ones, the new ones, and also the top ones. Now here onto the left side, you should be able to see the tokens that are available onto your account. So if you need more, just simply click on to upgrade in here and then you'll get redirected onto the page where you would be able to see Leonardo's plan. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you should be able to see its plan details. Be sure to read through all of this so that if you would be able to choose one already, just simply click on to subscribe so that you'd be able to use that plan. Now let's head back to the dashboard so here onto the left side you could start onto the home so we have that one here already the community feed personal feed training and data sets finds in models the user tools in here the settings fact and help and the logout button so what we'll need to click in here to get started is this ai image generation so once you click onto that you should be able to get redirected onto this page in here when it gives you an option to edit using the prompt so let's just remove this prompt that i've used onto my last image creation. So what you'll need to do in here next is in these community models or fine-tuned models, you'll need to click onto this drop-down menu and you should be able to see the different models that it offers. So you need to select this custom model in here. 
So you'll need to click onto that and you have here the your models, favorite models, platform models, and community models. So we'll just need to click onto community models and then here onto the search gallery. We'll need to type in here coloring book. So right after click on the search and you should be able to see the sort by in here or the filters when you can see it from newest to oldest or oldest and newest also the different categories so here are the different community models that it generated or has given us so what we'll use in here is this one the anime girl coloring book so let's click onto that as you can see we have here it's named the anime girl coloring book the instance prompt coloring book the description we're in a model to generate coloring images for adults the training resolution categories the base model and the strength so when you scroll down here onto the bottom part you'd be able to see also the different images that it has generated so you could also check onto this one so that you would be able to see the different prompts that it gives and then it would also help you or give you inspiration we've clicked this one example that we have in here the prompt details that it uses simple coloring for kids featuring a cartoon style puppy with a black and white design and no shading perfect for toddlers real color low background and simple so we could try to copy this one so let's try to see it would generate the same thing as well so let's click on exit and click on generate with this model then once we're onto the page already let's head onto the prompt in here and just paste in what we have copied earlier so remember you always have the option to update this so make sure you add in your own prompt so that you'd be able to get what you want to achieve onto your coloring booth theme so let's just try to fix this so let's add in here no color and background and then simple so let's go ahead and try to click generate and let's try to see what it will give us now as you can see we have this image as generated so we have here a dog so we could actually have this one since it looks like a coloring book but not that much we have our delete button onto the lower part the download image the copy the unzoom the remove background and many more so let's try to see the other photo it generated so this is actually not a dog that we have in here so for you to be able to achieve what you want just simply play on to this one in here so try to regenerate back again now let's try this prompt that i have in here another animal a simpler one to be used for coloring book which is a turtle and white and black thick marker so let's try to click on generate and let's see what we will achieve now as you can see here are the images that it generated so you have your a coloring book but it has shadings already so let's try to add in here a negative prompt that says no shadings so that there won't be any shading in there and then let's also add in here onto the first part simple then let's click generate again here are the different images that it generated we have here this one and also this one so for us to be able to have this one saved out onto our devices you could just simply right click your mouse in there and simply click on save image as and you have also this download image in here so we have it downloaded already now let's head on to the other thing that we'll need to do so that we optimize this photo for coloring but now right after you'll just need to search onto your local browser big jpg and click onto the first one that you see in here so once you're in you'll have the option actually to select an image or to drag the image in here so let's just simply drag in the image that we have downloaded for a coloring book so let's put it in here and let's wait for it to be downloaded so this is actually really helpful to generate a larger and better quality version of your photo so right after it is added just simply click on to start in here and then you have the option to choose an image type let's just click on to artwork and then you could see in here the upscaling to two times four times eight times and 16 times and the noise reduction so let's just leave it none we'll have this one at four times so that we could have the image better so let's click on to ok and then right after as you can see it changed to uploading so we'll just need to wait for it once the blue one reaches here or it finishes then we'll be able to get our image already now let's head back to leonardo again to try out different image so let's try another one so let's try a bird simple bird coloring book so let's update that and then black and white then we could try to remove this negative prompt in here and then click on to generate and let's see what it will give us now as you can see we have here the different images that it generated so we have here the picture one 
and the other picture of a bird also in here so remember to really customize the prompts in here to get the thing that you're looking for so really make use or research onto the different things that you want to delve into so that you'd be able to achieve it onto your photos in here and don't forget to have it downloaded and have it in here be able to optimize the photo as well so as you can see in here we have completed already the turtle that we have to optimize earlier just simply click on to download to get the finished photo and there you have it you've learned how to create fantastic coloring book pages using leonardo ai so feel free to experiment with different prompts and share your creation thank you very much for watching and if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like subscribe and until next time we'll see you on our next video